Welcome to Good Mythical More. It's time for us to judge uniforms from restaurants, mostly of the fast food variety, to see which one is the absolute best, head to head, tournament style. But first, let's name your pet that you submitted, Haley. Love it, let's see Haley's pet. Oh, it's a, it's a smiling dog that doesn't have a bottom of its face. Yeah. <laughs> It's not. It's the top half of a dog's head and then a tongue. That's a special grooming technique. Isn't that called so top half? Cute. That's a cute dog. Oh my goodness! Look how big his eyes are. Uh. Mm. Is this a is this a woman or a man? Smurf. Name? It is. No, I think it's Smurf. Come here, Smurf. I think it's. I think it's Priscilla. Shut up, Smurf. Priscilla. Priscilla. Priscilla the dog. What is it? Priscilla. Silver. So, I see. I, I knew it was silver. I knew it Priscilla. For silver. Smurf for sil you put Smurf Priscilla. and Priscilla together. What do you, you get? get? Silver. Silver. So, silver? there's one round in the main uh, that I'm perplexed by. Yeah, let's. I, I got it. Let's look how long this Bing Donald's bacon is. Is that it? Well, and what's so this one? round two was where you had Wendy's, which you gave an eight and a nine to, and you really loved. And then, Link, you guessed it was from Subway. Now, are, are you a f secret fan of Subway bacon and you think it's really good? Here's what I thought happened. I thought Explain yourself. That, when you, when, that they ordered it a la carte, and it turns out I was right, and that they took the bacon and they put it in the, the grinder blaster. What is that thing called? They brought the, the 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 sub heater the 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 food warmer the, the toaster the toaster you thought that the mythical crew made it crispier no I thought that Subway took the bacon and put it in the thing which they do put it the in toaster. the thing in the toaster and that it made it crispier but this is it right here and now which one was the one crispy. that was so bad uh the one that you hated for one and two was from KFC what which is, is KFC? odd. I mean, how are they screwed I know bacon? they used to have, I don't, they still have the double down. That's what I remember it being It's still bad. On. Good God. Bad bacon. But Starbucks looks the An worst. Ultimate barbecue sandwich is There's what the so bacon much, is on it. So yeah, much, so much fat on that. Starbucks was your um, second least favorite after KFC. Second least favorite. It tastes better What now, was round one? Uh, Starbucks. You, you didn't mind dinky. Starbucks, yeah, and you didn't mind so McDonald's either. Oh, I got first round right. Yeah, that was one you got right. You thought it, se I was it you, seemed, yeah, you thought seemed it was like you were awesome. good. Mm -hmm. I stand by the choice that Burger King's the best bacon. You've made a real discovery today. They do the bacon right. And who is this again? Wendy's. Wendy's is better. Now that I'm tasting them side by side, I was only had them one one apart. I gave them the same score. I stand by it. <clears throat> Let's get rid of that before we eat all this bacon. It's good. <clears throat> Gracious. <clears throat> I'm choking on bacon, y'all. Okay. Okay. Oh gosh, I gotta put some more water in here. Now I don't usually note fast food uniforms. But when Burger King came out with this latest uniform, I noted it. You thought it was hot. I remember walking in and I saw a guy with this shirt on. And before I realized he was a Burger King employee because he wasn't behind the counter, he was like doing something at the drink machine. I literally was like, that's a cool shirt. <clears throat> Just a cool shirt. I love that, <laughs> that pattern. It's like a burger. It's like a burger on your shirt. So. Yeah, that's smart. You're really gonna have to talk me out of this not being better than McDonald's. And then they drab gray uniform. They also give you an ascot if you want it. And they give you all tight pants. Low rise. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> I just oh I gosh. really like that. It's gonna be tough to beat that. That's a good uniform. I'm about We're going with the blockbuster uh themed graphics. Yeah, I requested that. This. That's yeah. interesting. Good. So McDonald's, what what can we say here? I mean I mean it's real people. There's a chip. They're real people. It's a chest pocket. It looks functional. There's trim, and there's there's an these are inversions of each other. 
and then the shoulders are different colors. I mean, there's some thoughtful shiftiness involved in this. Mm, yeah, I mean, it doesn't do anything for me. But this over here, I'd I, wear I this think to a, I do to appreciate the, club. the details. But I'm with you. The layers you're wearing the layers of a burger, and the belt has a little red stripe on it. That's part of it. There's some really interesting math so the, going on in the in the in the in the top of pant in the in the woman's Burger King area. I don't understand you're the. About, you're talking about her crotch. Yeah. You're saying those pants are too low rise. Yeah, they're really. <clears throat> and then honestly, a little too much detail in in the crotch. Well, let me see. Like where are the guys? Let me see you know. This part. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, you're, I mean, yeah, it's a, a lot yeah, of detail. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a lot of detail. <laughs> it's a cartoon. Cartoon. But there's a lot of detail. It's just a cartoon. cartoon. Don't get any ideas. Burger King's better. Yeah, let's get rid of McDonald's. Sorry, Mac. Okay. So what do we have next to go up against Burger King? <coughs> oh, we're going with an airline here. Virgin Airlines. Which, I mean, if they're faulted for anything, it's for being too extra here. I mean, look at the poses. Yeah, yeah, it's unnecessary, I'd say. It's cool though. Um, I like I like the silhouette. No, it's cool, but the thing about Burger King is they don't just have red, they have red, green, brown, light brown, and then black. So they got more colors, so I'm still sticking with Burger King here. Mm -hmm. I wish they were on real people though, just yeah. so I could really I, see hey, it. Hey, we could go. I'll take you to the Burger King. I'll show you the just, people. You'll show me the people at Burger King? Yeah. We're not going to order anything. Just go see, see the people back there. <laughs> what, what would you like to order, sir? Nothing. I, I just want to look at you. Just want to look at y'all. Just want to look at y'all. You don't mind if I just stand here and look I'm at y'all? I'm just taking it in. Well, I'm just looking at your uniforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not you. What you're wearing. Not the crotch of your uniform. Just yeah. your whole. Not uniform. your low-rise jeans. My goodness. So I, you know what? I do like this hue of red. It's bold. It is. It's uh, nothing about this says virgin to me though. Right, right. This says experienced. Experience in the in yeah. Why would you want to get on an airline that's like first, never flown before? First flight. <laughs> We're figuring it out as we never go. done this before. We, I mean, we gotta land it, <laughs> so we'll know. We, we know we'll finish this flight. Oh, Look good. at that! You can get Whoa, the oh, the inside hey, of the jacket. Where do I get that? Burger King has got a reversible hoodie that makes you the burger. Who, Daddy? I'm telling you. And their belts. You're right. The, it's the end of the belt. It has a red. That's a red thing. That's a that's a real guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a real person, Link. Wow, mm -hmm. man, I gotta get hold of one of those. And it says Bur the Burger King is embroidered on it. Yeah, sorry, Burger. <laughs> is, it, is it McDonald's embroidered on there? Yeah. Yeah, they can do that these days. All right, Burger King has withstood two rounds of scrutiny. I'm telling you. Can it endure the Trader Joe's? <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is happening here? So they do the Hawaiian shirts at Trader Joe's. Oh my gosh. Um, this is this is a lot. Yeah, this, I mean, this, I, I don't count this as a uniform. I think it's, I like the laid back vibe that they're going for here. I appreciate it. I just don't think you can count it as a uniform because if you saw the, a group of people in those shirts approaching you, you wouldn't think they all worked at the same place. You would think they were all on vacation together. You think they were at a bad destination wedding. Yeah, right, it's just like, oh. These people come at you, they're like, they're going, I gotta give these people money for something. But at a certain point, we're gonna start to realize that they're wearing the layers, the okay. colors are burger layers. Yep. And that's going to start to work against you. But so far, okay. I mean, so but you good. know that Trader Joe's is not going to dethrone Burger King. No, there's no way. There's no way. This is just a this is just a Hawaiian shirt. There's something so Gen Z about your look, Rhett, with our our Y two K graphic, and then you're wearing a silver chain necklace yeah, over, over it. Over it, yeah. I'm working real hard right now. Yeah, you you could. Uh, what do I need to change? You could be a youngster. You can be I need to look younger. No, you look great. Oh, no cap, man. Thank you. Matt, you look good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, okay. Here we go. Is, is this the moment that Burger King is going down? It's hot dog on a stick. Oh my! God. We had to put this in here because of Carney. And you know what? Is it a coincidence that he had to leave? <laughs> he gave me some real hot goss, though. Okay. He couldn't stand the scrutiny. Yeah, he didn't want to talk about yeah, this. Yeah. And 
via this photo, it might still be true. He said when he worked at Hot Dog on a Stick that the guys were allowed to wear the blue visors, but the women were not. You just burped sorry. bacon in my face, man. Yeah, I, well, no, I just burped it. But it I, gargled. Yeah, but I kept it in. I'm oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Only the guys could wear, wear the blue visors, visors? And, the, yeah. and the women had to wear what? Those those hats. The dumb hat. The the t- what kind of hat is? You think that? that's still a rule? I have no idea. Well, they get a demerit for that. I mean, this is this uniform. It's. It comes on strong, but man. It goes hard. Now, you know I'm partial to stripes. I We've made that clear. Now, if you turn a hot dog on the stick employee sideways, yeah. is it the layers of a hot dog? Is it? Is it now? A blue hot dog with a bun, mayonnaise, ketchup, is and the other bun. Mayonnaise, yeah, but a ketchup. hot dog on a stick is a corn dog. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So that doesn't work. Well, the legs are the sticks. I appreciate. It's just circus. How, how it's, bi- like, it's, it's memorable. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's got that going. McDonald's isn't trying hard at all. McDonald's, everybody should be dressed like Ronald. That's what I think you should do at McDonald's. This is, this is like professional chic grease. Chicy greasy, I this would call This is still it. winning. Yeah. It's a, it's a chance. I mean, I mean, Carney's not here to defend himself. Is there anything else he told you? Um... He said that on September 11th, he uh, didn't have to go into work and he was excited about it. Whatever he said like a month ago, he he, he reset that again to me. Okay. I'm sorry, Carney. Start, start, <laughs> I blew talk, it. I blew it. Carney started talking about September 11th? Well, because he talked about that on the show like a month ago. And then he was he re- he, 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 it was that. a joke. Um, and then right. I tried to relay it to you, but... Usually, when you say something about September 11th, it's not very funny. Right? No, yeah, no, yeah. No, it's, it's hard. It's hard to make yeah. a joke about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, y'all remember Jen? Jen Matichuk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Canadian Jen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Was here at Mythical for a we long had, time. We had our highs. We had our lows. Uh, and, she was around for a long time. And Jen would bring us mail. Mm-hmm. Well, Jen is going to bring us some mail in a Mythical Society special. That's right. Mail with Jen is back. Uh, one time a, only. One time only special. Uh-huh. So we want you to be a part of that. Send in your mail. It's historic. And then we might read it on the special. Hey, send something to me for my birthday because we need the mail by October 2nd. I mean, you know, send me a birthday wish or something. Or send something to me for his birthday. Make too. me feel welcome. Um, in old. Whatever you want, you know, send it to us. Mail it. You know, look in the, look in the video description. It'll show you where, where our mailing address is. For mail for Jen. Okay, can we have somebody have a better uniform? Oh, uh, to clarify, service? sorry, sorry. The reason why you don't remember the September, uh, not to bring it back, but but um, the reason why you don't remember that conversation about about September 11th, um, that was a conversation that Matt and I had a month ago. <laughs> oh. Um, it wasn't on the show. Apparently it wasn't on the show. Well, hold on, you had it. Yeah. I get confused about what happens on the show. And you don't remember regular life oh. too. Yeah, I know. I don't know anymore. Oh. I don't even try to. Thank you. So he didn't want. Are you trying to make me feel? He better? didn't want to talk about September 11th publicly. This life. No. Is my show. You see how I said that? Won't uh, remember that. Yeah. This is. This is my life right now. I'm living my life right now. This life is my show. Well, this part of my life is this show. This show is my life. No, it's well, not. I'm just my saying, life. Is this not your life happening right now? This is this, this is my life right now. My life. It's right not the now only thing in my life. Is this Can show. my life? My life right now is this show too. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're so living, when I was referencing that thing that didn't happen on the show, but it did happen on the show. It was on the show. <clears throat> right. That's living. I understand. Yeah. As I was saying, United States Postal Service. Can you say this life is my show? This life is my show. Yeah. See. Uh, now this life is my show. Bring it in. That's um, wow. There's a Shorts. lot to like about this. The hat to start Tucked with. Tucked in. I mean the safari hat. Um, you've got you've got the the side satchel. You've got the, the you've got a, some sort of mail in your hand. Probably. Well, the mail's not part of the uniform. Come on, get a grip. Nice nice belt work there. Um, this it's is so ur- official. This is urban safari. 
This works. It's clean. This is it's professional. This is doing things for me. It says uniform. It says pride. It says you count on me for for to for, for messages. You kind of get a little bit of an excited feeling when you see somebody in a male uniform because it means you got some mail. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I don't know about that Burger King shirt. It's patriotic. It's a government job. Yeah, and there was like a campaign. It felt like we were about to get rid of it a couple of years ago. Remember that? Yeah. It was like about to go under. We had to like fight for the postal people to mm -hmm. stick around. Yeah, it's... um. I'm partial to the postals. I like how the pants match the logo in the shirt. And when somebody goes postal, that's a, usually a good thing, right? No. Yeah, sorry. Sorry I brought that up. Um, I wish I could see the shoes. Do they have... Do they are, are there? I think they're all pumps across the board. Reebok pumps. Really? But they're black. They're 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 like black tennis shoes. No, I think they can wear anything they want. You you think they can wear any shoes they want? I'm I've lost interest in in. Well, hold on, hold on, shoes. but let me just before you dethrone it. I mean, just look at this. So they, I, get, they I'm give just you, bored of it. I they think give you the two options, Link. You can wear the burger flag on your pocket, or you can have it as the whole top half of your shirt. Mm-hmm. Polo now, walked, or a button up. When I walked into the Burger King and saw this young man yeah. at the drink machine, I was like, good God, where did that guy get that polo? And yeah. then I saw everyone else was wearing it too. <laughs> and then I realized, oh, it's the Burger King uniform. Good God, man, where did you get that <laughs> polo? Good God, sir. <laughs> what if you went out to that guy? Excuse me, sir. I know it's happened. Excuse me, sir. I guarantee not an employee. you it's happened. Excuse me, you who do not work here. Good God, man, where did you get that shirt? That's amazing. That polo. Oh, it's so nice. Good God, man, I love your shirt. It's so nice. Good God. Good God, man. <laughs> Tell me about your shirt. Yeah. Now, this. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I, work I don't, at I don't have a choice to wear it. It's uh, just a burger. It's uh, lettuce, tomato. Yeah. Burger than bun. Now, is that a tomato or is that ketchup? Because it's whatever you want it to be. I hope it's ketchup. The brown is the burger. If I saw this, how young else lady, can you pull up that much what? brown on a black ensemble? I mean, that's not, I know you can do it these days. No, no, but I, it's, it's hard. Bold. It's bold. It's bold though. It's bold. Now I see this and I don't think. Can I wear it? I think. Oh, what, what, the mail's here. Good God, girl! You are delivering the mail? <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> You're right. Wow. Well, you what? One last chance for Burger King. One to last go down. chance. Oh shoot. Ain't Home Depot. Home Depot is nothing but an apron. An apron. Where did you get that apron? Good, good God, man. <laughs> is, that Hold on. is that an apron? Hold on. Don't give it. Don't slide it yet. No, it's great for an apron. I mean, it has pockets. It's it, listen, it's eye catching. And, and there's it. There, you write your own name on it. Yeah, I mean, one time I made the mistake of going to the Home Depot in an orange apron. Now I'll never do that again. Right. Yeah, that was a mistake. It, People wouldn't stop asking me questions. It, you know, it's it's up to you to. This is not an apron. A uniform does not make. No, it doesn't. It takes more than an apron to make. Now she does. She does have a bionic left arm. Well, I think that is a... It's a price thing. It's a forearm computer. Yeah, it's like a pricing thing. I mean, she could be Is bionic. that part of the uniform? Well, she's got a... Is her tattoo part of the uniform? No, you're right. Good point. They write their own name on their uniform. Yep. Yep. I don't believe, I don't believe that's well, a good Well, I think we've got a clear winner here. Yeah. I mean, I knew it all along. Burger King, I mean, it was the ascot for me. Officially, the best uniform in the biz. Good God, man. Your shirt, tell me about it. <laughs> Please. Can't, man, excuse me, sir. Good God, man. <laughs> I just can't imagine you going out to... Yeah, I'm going to uh, do it, man. Hey, dude. Good God, man. Good God, man. Good God, man. <laughs> tell me about your shirt. A little William Shatter sees a uniform that he likes. <laughs> Good God, man. Good God, man. <sighs> Mail with Jen is back for a one-time only Mythical Society special. Send in your mail by October 2nd.